it's Kai here with you today and I have an Easter card to share with you that I already had in progress when I started this video. Um, I'm joining in with the color challenge at uh, Split Coast Stampers for the month of March as a guest and the colors that we're using are going to be included in this card. And when I started it, I had a little girl in mind that I was thinking about, so it'll go to her at Easter. So I did the um, card base. I stenciled on the bunnies using the colors from the challenge. And now I'm going to do my little panel that I've already die cut with uh, Penny Black's Elegant Stitching die. And I'm going to use some Bow Bunny Glitter paste in lemonade to um, stencil these words. Um, the stencil is called Easter Words from A Colorful Life and the other stencil is Bunch of Bunnies also from A Colorful Life. Um, I just make sure that I do the glitter paste and keep it nice and smooth um, with no ridges. It's easy for me to use this smaller tool that comes in the um, Tim Holtz alcohol ink um, kit uh, as it doesn't load up with a lot of the paste and it's easy to maneuver. So I quite like using this for um, embossing paste and the glitter paste as it uh, has turned out as well. In any event, um, I'm just proceeding to do the panel. I will uh, finish it, finish off the edges, like take away any excess that is around the edges, um, and then set it aside to dry. I had it taped down so it wouldn't shift while I was doing the stenciling. There was just a little bit on the edges that needs to be taken off here. So, and while I was at uh, doing the sponging, I went ahead and die cut a panel for the inside of my card. I'm going to use the four colors again that are in the challenge. Um, I'm using uh, not Stampin' Up! colors, which is what the color challenge colors are based on. I'm using what I have. Altenew inks and um, Distress ink in uh, Wild Honey is the Distressed ink. The others are all Altenew ink. I'm using my um, life-changing brushes to do my stencil work. It's nice and small, this little one that I'm using. Um, so it makes it easy to get into these tiny little spaces. So again, I'm as I mentioned, I'm stenciling in the colors of the challenge. I had a bit of the yellow ink still on my brush there. I didn't clean it properly when I started the blue bunny, but it worked out okay anyway. I do these bunnies a little bit darker than I did the bunnies on the card base on the front. <clears throat> And I'm going to stamp um, my greeting on the inside here as well uh, with a stamp, just a little stamp set from Lawn Fawn called Hoppy Easter, which is kind of cute. So there they are. <laughs> I think she'll really enjoy this card, this little girl that I'm making it for. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside greeting while I'm at it using um, my Ranger Archival Inks in Vibrant Fuchsia and the Lawn Fun Hoppy Easter Sentiment which I already have set up here in my Misty. I'm 
by this point in time my um, glitter paste would be dry so the next step would be to add some fun foam onto the back of my panel and some using Scorpel tape I attach it to which is nice and strong for it <clears throat> and attach it to the card base oh yes I forgot this part that I put some Wink of Stella in the bunny ears A little bit of sparkle never hurt anyone. <laughs> I'm holding on to the mic so tight here I got a cramp in my hand. I don't have to hold it that tight. I can let it go. <laughs> I was trying to get you, show you the glitter but doesn't seem to be working very well <laughs> anyway here's I'm going to attach the panel um, with the fun foam that's already attached to give it some dimension and I think the um, words on an ankle also give it some further interest I'm standing up when I do this this is something I cannot do sitting down because inevitably it will be crooked. Which is very annoying. I'm going to use the Impression Obsession <laughs> stamp called Peppers. So cute. I just love this little bunny. The minute I saw him when they did the release, I was just, oh, I want that bunny. Cute. So I stamped him on Ranger Distress watercolor paper using the Vibrant Fuchsia ink again. And then I fussy cut him out, including the whiskers, which was a very delicate task. And um, I watercolored him using just some Tim Holtz Distress Ink and picked raspberry. And I also added Wink of Stella to these bunny ears and the nose. It's not a long process to paint this little bunny. It goes by rather quickly. I seem to have a preference for this bunny being pink though. I thought about changing him for this card and then because the previous time I used him, I also did him or her. I guess it's to her when it's pink, isn't it? Anyway, I did her in uh, pink. But when I looked at it, uh, no, I'm not really into a green bunny. I guess a yellow bunny could be cute, but I already had yellow in the glitter paste. And blue, mm, nah. <laughs> so pink it was. I'm just tapping off there. You think I'm tapping my brush, but I'm actually tapping some water onto my little workspace there to um, use as I'm doing the bunny. It's just easier than constantly reaching across to the water because there's only tiny bits of water that you need for this kind of application. Just give him some color up those bunny legs. I'm sure she does it. The little girl that's going to have this doesn't have nearly the fun I have when I'm making these kinds of cards. 
I am told though she gets a kick out of them, so we'll just go for that. I get a kick out of them too. Almost done with this part. And then I fussy cut them out, of course. And add the Wink of Stella. Um, I also style him a bit. I want his ears to kind of flop to towards me, like towards who's ever viewing the card. Um, and I do attach him to the um, Easter Words panel on foam squares to finish. So for some reason I stopped my camera and never turned it back on for the very end putting the foam squares on and attaching them. But I let them sit there on the on the card so you can at least see, see where my intention was leading and of course there's some pictures of the finished pro card here on my blog. Thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate you having a peek and I'd like it if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up I'm trying to get uh, my name out there when it comes to videos. So thanks very much everyone. See you next time.